I am so, 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 so excited to be back on Epic Reads to show my book look for Shadow and Bone, the first book to the Grishaverse trilogy by Leigh Bardugo! Shadow and Bone is actually going to be a series on Netflix coming soon on April 23rd! So if you are into huge YA fantasy universes, lots of fun dramatic romances, or if you're just interested in watching the Netflix series and you haven't picked up the book yet and you're interested in finding out what happens in the show, then you gotta pick this book up! So if you're interested in seeing how I put this book look all together for Shadow and Bone, and you'd like to celebrate the Grishaverse with me right before the show comes out on Netflix, then please keep on watching. <laughs> With a clean bare face, I'm starting this look by priming all over my face and eyes with my favorite primers. We'll be doing a very dramatic dark blue smoky eye for today's look. I went ahead and did one side off camera, but to start this eye look, I'm buffing a matte light blue eyeshadow slightly higher than my natural crease to serve as my transition color. From there, I'm blending a darker matte blue eyeshadow into my natural crease and a matte navy blue eyeshadow all over the center of my lids. I'm also blending some matte black eyeshadow over the navy shadow to intensify and darken the color. If you're like me and you often mess up your eye makeup, it's okay! This is why we do the eyes first! Don't panic! We can clean up any mistakes after, just, just trust the process. Next, I'm going under my eyes with some color correcting concealer and foundation. A little bit of the blue eyeshadow fallout mixed in with my concealer, but I'm okay with that since the overall look is going to have a blue tint later on anyways. Once that's done, I'm setting my face with some translucent setting powder and smoking out my bottom lash line with the same black and blue eyeshadows I used earlier. Grabbing my airbrush tool, I'm filling it up with some blue airbrush paint to contour around my face. For any of the areas that I added too much paint to, I'm blending a little bit of concealer to soften the color up. Next, I'm dipping back into some blue eyeshadow to contour my nose nose, my cupid's bow, and under my lips. I'm also going to hit the apples of my cheeks and across my nose with an orangey gold toned blush. After I'm starting to fill in my eyebrows with some dark brown eyeshadow and combing the hairs up with some brow soap on a spoolie. I'm also using a small spatula to press my brow hairs down in place so they stick up nice and spiky like. To sharpen and clean up the shape of my brows, I'm blending a little bit of white cream body paint underneath them and onto my brow bone. Moving on to the rest of my body, I'm roughly laying down layers of blue and black body paint in similar shapes to the poured paint texture of the paperback book cover. If you flip open the cover, you'll see this gorgeous poured paint textured stag art, which is my main inspiration for this look on top of cosplay elements for Alina, the main character from the story. Next, I'm grabbing my airbrush tool again and I'm spraying bits of blue and white airbrush paints to highlight my chest, shoulders, and collarbones and to brighten up and match the colors of the book cover art. And just so the colors are all cohesive, I'm also spritzing some of the airbrush paint into the eye look. After I'm dipping into some white, blue, and black body paint and I'm roughly copying some of the poured paint textures from the cover. I'm not being too clean or precise with this so things can look a little bit more organic, but I am focusing things more on the highlight points of my body. I'm also adding some paint spill textures with some silver metallic body paint and topping them off with some silver cosmetic glitter. Moving back up to my eyes, I went ahead and did one side by putting a mix of gold and silver star glitter all around the eye look to mimic the circle halo shape of my headpiece, which I'll be attaching on later. To start this, I'm sticking individual silver sequence pieces and then mixed gold glitter all around that. I wanted to mix these two glitters so when I move my head around later, you can catch the different shapes when the light catches. Next, I'm curling my lashes in preparation for falsies, and I'm also using the same white body paint from earlier as a white eyeliner and mascara on top of my falsies and bottom lashes. With a blue lip liner pencil, I'm tracing out my lips and filling them in with a bright blue liquid lipstick. After, I'm hitting everything with some heavy-duty setting spray, and before it can dry completely, I'm quickly adding some gold powder highlight and blue liquid glitter highlighter to my cheekbones, forehead, and cupid's bow. It's finally time for our Alina wig and Morozova stag headpiece! Yay! If you'd like to see how I styled this wig and created this headpiece, I'll have a video on my YouTube channel coming soon, so please go check it out! Before I put on the wig, I'm spraying my hair with some water so it's easier to slick my hair back and down into a low bun, and I'm slipping not one but two wig caps to ensure my hair stays down nice and flat. After the wig and headpiece are all pinned in place, I'm grabbing my airbrush tool again to spray blue paint along my front lace roots and along the wig so it looks a little bit more cohesive with all the colors of the look. For this look, I actually held a poll on IG asking if I should incorporate chains or not into the headpiece, and Lee Bardugo was gracious enough to take the time to vote yes to the chains, so I had to! If you're watching this, Lee Bardugo, I love you, and I love your book so much, and I'm so, so, so excited to watch the Netflix series! Once that's done, it's time for some Sun Summoner colored contacts! Ta-da! 
Slight spoiler alert, though Alina has brown eyes in this story, I really wanted to have these gold colored contacts to tie in all the gold accessories from the headpiece and the golds from the book cover, as well as pay homage to her Sun Summoner title in the story. Once those contacts are in, I'm taking a white liner pencil and I'm tracing out a bottom inner corner swoop similar to a deer or stag's eye shape to pay reference to the stag on the cover, in the story, and my very first version of the book look back when I first started doing book looks by B in 2018. Next, I'm attaching my epaulets, which you can also see how I made in my behind the scenes accessory making video coming soon to my YouTube channel. Another slight spoiler alert, I wanted to incorporate these epaulets to tie in the gold from the book cover, but also to make the body paint design look a little bit more like the keftas that the Grisha wear in the story. Last accessory to add is my Morozova collar, and once that's latched onto me, we are done! Yay! Here is our finished look for Shadow and Bone, the first book to the Grishaverse trilogy by Lee Bardugo. I can't thank Lee Bardugo enough for her books and the Grishaverse, and I'm so, so, so ready for the Netflix series. I also wanted to thank HarperCollins Publishers for commissioning me for this book look and for always supporting my passion and my artwork. This was such a fun look to put together and even more fun to read. As always, thank you all for joining me. Let me know what book looks you'd like to see me do next, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!